installing today is from a company called Reshine Hair, and I'm actually so excited because it's super pretty. So I'm gonna go ahead and unbox it. Comes in a package like this, and then so this wig is 250 density. That's what it says on the front. Um, it is water wave hair texture at 28 inches, and it's. <laughs> I always get stuck on these. Oh my gosh. And it's so pretty and long. So yeah, they did say 28 inches and like 28 inches of course is like the stretched length. So when you stretch it out all the way like this, then it's 28, but like even hanging without it being stretched, it's still pretty freaking long. So this is a closure wig right here. So it's just um, a lace closure in the front. You have the two combs on the sides, a comb in the um, back kind of comb at the bottom and then of course your adjustable straps with the lace at the bottom but if you can see this hair texture it is freaking gorgeous i'm so excited because this is a little bit different than like curly hair or like jerry curly hair this is like a water wave in which i can i don't know like to me the curls are just slightly bigger than like the jerry curly hair so this curl pattern is beautiful like i can't wait to put it in i'm so excited um, yeah, and of course, all the information for this hair will be in the description below. But at 250 density, it's so thick and full. And this is so long. I can't wait. Let's go ahead and put it in. Okay, so for this, usually when I do closure wigs, I don't do the stocking cap method. But I think this time I do want to do the stocking cap method because I want that natural melted lace look with this hair. Um, so that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. I'm just going to use the cap that they gave me. It looks like a pretty typical brown cap and I already braided my hair down last night so I didn't have to go through all this today but if you don't know how to braid of course you don't have to put your hair in braids you can just slick it back in a little ponytail and then apply your wig cap so that is what I'm going to do I'm just going to take one and stretch it Ooh, this is the worst part I'm going to be messing up my eyebrows taking my powder the powder I'm using is black opal um, the black black opal brand and if this is their um, cream foundation so I'm gonna go through with this and just darken it right here Now you can use like lace tint or anything else, but I don't have any of that. So I'm just gonna use what I got, which is this makeup. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the lace off the back like this. So I'm going to be pulling the lace down just a little bit 
in front of the cap because that's where I'm going to be gluing it like not like directly on the cap but like a little bit in front of the cap right there like right along there before I do that I'm going to go and get some rubbing alcohol and clean this up right here So the glue that I'm using is the Wig Dealer Extreme Hold Lace Glue. It's the waterproof, humidity resistant, and I really like this glue. I tried it one time and it worked really good. Like I work out a lot, so it definitely held up through me like sweating. Cause like when I sweat, I start sweating in my hairline, <laughs> unfortunately. So this stuff helps my wig from slipping off. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply small dots. And I'm going to spread it out to where it gets on the cap some and then on my forehead some as well to create like a wide, like an inch, like an inch or like a half an inch's worth of glue space, if that makes sense. Okay. And when it's completely clear, I'm going to go through and do another layer. So while this is tying down, I'm gonna go ahead and like carve out my part. And I decided I think I just want a middle part. So I'm gonna do it like this. And then after I'm done plucking the part and making sure everything looks okay, now I'm just going through and cutting off the lace and making sure that everything lines up with that. Starting off with doing my edges, I originally thought that I was gonna want bang pieces in the front originally, and that's what you see me doing right here. Um, but I actually wound up not leaving that out because I realized it looked crazy. But this is also how I did my edges, so I'm just gonna leave it in, and so you can just see the whole process. I start longer when I cut my edges and go shorter because I don't have time. Start like that. Go ahead and curl this like so. And curl the other side. Like so. Take my mousse that I hate. I prefer the FOG mousse to this Nairobi, but whatever. I'll take a little got to be free spray. Spray my brush. While that's wrapped, go ahead and style the rest of my hair. So let's just talk about, first of all, how much this curl pattern is beautiful. Like, it's so freaking pretty. Oh my gosh. So, 
Typically, I would like maybe spray it with water. Like I have my water bottle right here. I don't wanna do that. This hair is pretty as is. The only thing I'm gonna do to this is separate it with my fingers. I don't wanna mess up this curl pattern. I'm not even gonna separate it too much because I don't want it too, too poofy. But I'm just gonna go ahead and like flatten it a little bit at the top with some foam. So I'm gonna go ahead and straighten it out some. I'm gonna take my wax stick. I have this Edge Booster wax stick. I'm trying this out. It's the homemade, oh, homemade hair pomade stick stronghold. It's my first time trying it, so let's see how it does. But I'm just gonna go ahead and put it by the part right here. Put it right here. And use my little hot comb. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take my same little, I like this because it's not a concealer, it's a, um, it's a cream foundation. So it kind of acts like a concealer. So I can use this on the lace, I can use this on my um wig cap as you saw earlier and now i'm just using it to like make my part more prominent and i'm gonna use it one more time after i take this wig band off to like blend my blend lace so let's go ahead and take this off this hair is so cute so the last thing that I'm gonna do is, you can tell like it's a little lighter right here, which all these lights in front of me is making it stand out more. It really like in person doesn't look crazy like that, but I'm gonna go ahead and clean it up just a little bit. I am um, gonna take my foundation again and a little bit of a wider brush and just tap it in. Uh, is this making it worse or is it making it better? Let's see, find out. Tap, tap, tap in. This is what it looks like. I love, love, when I say love, love this hair. This is so pretty. And it's 28 inches, so it's long. Like, look how long and full this is. This is amazing. I love big hair like this. And it's so cute. Let me show you the side and the back. So yeah, I absolutely love this hair. Clearly, I'm excited about it. Like I said, all the information for this hair will be in the description box below. If you have any questions, please make sure to leave it in the comment section. I'll get back to you when I can. And yeah, go check this hair out. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Adios, till next time.